Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I'm finally back in Taiwan now. Um, if you guys didn't know from my channel update video, which I probably posted right before this one, I'm finally back. And you know, that that isn't <laughs> well. It, the the hint is there is a my my green screen is back. Like you won't see any background behind me, and there's also no nothing on the on the screen for for the the music. Like it's actually the the music that's on the music screen. So um, there's that as well. But anyways, I. This is my the Super League video, the daily Monster Super League video. I know I said I had a lot of videos to make, but you know, just for today, um, probably in a few hours, I'm gonna set an alarm to aggressively fix my jet lag because I, I've actually went all the way around and actually like pretty much almost fixed my sleep schedule to like Canada time. So I'm like right now I'm I'm still in Canada time and I need to kind of just you know uh, fix it and make it Taiwan time and then. I'll be able to do what I usually do, like every single day and stuff, and um, it just makes everything <laughs> a lot easier because I, I would be waking up in the morning, you know, like trying to get back into the habit of just exercising and and doing doing um, you know living a healthy life and also doing um, YouTube and stuff and just what I've been doing before. Um, just so I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely be trying to aggressively fix my sleep schedule. So I'll I'll be up tomorrow to make. Um, to make another update video, and then I'll, I'll be <laughs> spamming a lot of shit like uh, the the Tower of Chaos that I I said I was gonna do, but I, uh, I said I was gonna do after I came back to Taiwan. Um, so now I'm that I'm back in Taiwan. I'm going to gonna definitely go through all of this. Holy shit! There's 70 floors now. It hardly seems worth it. Like the amount of energy you have to put in for like one light dark egg. It's insane. You don't, you don't, you barely get any gold back. Like they really should make it so you get a lot of more gold, or at least get like get energy back. Oh, oh wait, you do get a hundred energy here. I don't know if the energy return is gonna be that good. I don't know. It's just I've I've probably been too spoiled from Summoner's War because like Summoner's War gave they had a similar system where they had a tower and they gave it gave a lot of like um, crystals so it was like the main source of crystals was the was the uh, premium currency and it was the main source of getting crystals for like free to play players so um, and then basically to to go through the tower would be would would pay for itself. Like while you're after you finish the run, so it's definitely always worth it to to run the tower. But I'm not sure like for one light dark egg if it's gonna be completely worth it because for the last like seven or eight light dark eggs, I haven't gotten anything good at all. Um, but anyways, we're gonna probably still probably everyone's still gonna still gonna do it. You know, it's just the the temptation of the light dark egg is probably too big for for anyone to resist. And I'm definitely gonna be doing. It doing it to see what the tower is like um, and possibly if it's really hard I can make some guides and stuff so people can, um, can work and, and try to get through it. So gonna be making a plan for what I'm planning to do next week. I think the next um, unit that I want to raise to 6 stars is definitely the Dark July. Wait, where, where did I put her? I'm not sure if I should use this one because this one has no square slot. And it, it, it does have like the nice crit damage. And it's also an, an aggressor, like a like a, a uh, HP aggressor with AoE. So it might be nice to like run two Dark Julys, like maybe have one Dark July that is like triple HP and is like the main healer. And then I can run the second Dark July as like a as like a an HP aggressor basically. So I can run like, you know, HP crit crit rate HP or something like that. So I'm definitely gonna do a few more rebirths and trying to trying to get her. I, I think I can definitely afford to do do so. I do um, farm golems a lot, and golems does give me a lot of eggs. So I can actually no, it doesn't actually give me that many eggs. Um, but if I farm like the scenario maps and stuff, I'll get like random three stars and stuff. So now that I've been farming golems for about two weeks nonstop, I'm probably gonna go back and start raising some units to six stars because I have a lot of gold to, to spend now. So pretty much um, what I'm gonna do is gonna. I'm gonna be using this gold to to raise more six stars. The problem is I'm running a little bit short on on astrogens. I'm not sure because I I'm pretty much like I'm kind of broke now and like I have no money, um, so I, I can't really go hardcore pay to play. Um, but I 
I I think there's a way to to use the variant method. Like it's just like before, but you basically you can still convert gold back to astro gems, and then I can use that to refill and raise raise six stars. I'm probably not going to use all like I probably don't need to use all all this gold, so I can definitely um, definitely do that as well. So yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be doing these summons, and then we're gonna probably be doing like two rebirths and see what I see what I get with them, and hopefully it comes with a with a Dark July that has a square slot or something like that. Um, that's gonna be really hard though. If it if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter that much. Um, the main reason you want the Dark July is just so you have a passive healer. But I was thinking like maybe it would be nice if I had two, possibly. I've been getting a lot of variants from these random eggs. I think it's it's a really nice way to get variants, but you really don't get a lot of lightning, so there's not a lot of four stars with, within these eggs. But it's always nice to get variants because you can use the variants for rebirth and then try to try to get like a variant rebirth, um, and then you can make whatever light dark monster that's up for rebirth into a variant. All right, all right. I think the the summoning rate for the for the crystals is also decreased. It doesn't have that like increased nat five summoning rate as before. That was really insane. Like when it when it came out, whoever didn't didn't summon during that time is just really missed out. But it, it, it kind of makes me uh, it kind of tells me a little that I didn't I didn't save all my all my crystals or astro gems. I mean to to summon during that time. All right, let's put like some of these units. Um, into rebirth. Let's uh, let's put these. Oh no no no! Not 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 the July. Um, wait, I can't use the cocoa either. I don't need the Phoebean. and I probably I should probably keep a mermaid. Um, all right. Even if I don't get anything good, I still need the Julys anyways. Like even if I don't get any light and dark. Ones I still need need them, so probably still still nice to do this. All right, GG. Nothing, no no luck today. No luck today, but I, I guess it's fine. It doesn't actually matter that much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be um, probably in a few hours. I'll, I'll wake up and then I'll 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 like um, start doing the tower and stuff, and then probably gonna go through the whole entire tower like tomorrow basically so yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out